In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, it will show you the title. And then the first point comes, the second point, third point, and fourth point. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view and enable the guides, go to insert shapes, select a circle hollow and make the height and width as three inches. You can see here and you just drag this small orange point outside. You got, you get this much width and align center align middle and shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to cut this into four parts for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and give some different color shape outline make it no outline and this align center align middle now hold the alt key and press the right arrow key two times you can see here maybe one more time three times press ctrl d again align center align middle and hold the alt key and this time you press six time so you get this particular shape and then i'm just going to select all I can do like this or I can just press Ctrl A then go to format merge shape just say fragment you can see here now I'm just going to delete the unwanted select and delete you can see here I'm just deleting all unwanted here you can see here So you can see now we have got four different shapes now it's time to color them so whichever color which you feel better you can just color it i'm just using some different colors you can see here and maybe blue now i'm going to add one more shape here go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle small rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make out no outline and just rotate it and for every color option i'm just going to place something like this you can see here just let me just zoom and i will just put it at the corner you can see here and give the same color and shape outline anyway we have made already no outline and if you want you can reduce the the height let me just again put it back here you can see here make sure it is properly aligned and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d and you can just rotate it you can see here and put it exactly in the center this one point should come in the center you can see here so now i'm just going to select this and this object by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it and ctrl d to duplicate it and add to each of these here for this i'm just going to add it here you can see here and then you can just go to format and change the color whichever color we have selected press ctrl d bring the other side you can see here i'm just going to put it here you can align it properly and for this i'm going to use this color and ctrl d and i'm going to use this color and i'm just adding it here you can see here align it properly and for this i'm going to give this color so you can see our design is almost ready we need to add some numbers and tag this is not properly aligned let me just put it more straight i think this is okay 
all right and then i'm just going to add the number go to insert text box and just type zero one i'm going to change the font to open sans make it bold increase the size and this one will be one here press ctrl d this is the second point ctrl d this is the third point again duplicate this and this will be the fourth point so just change the numbers two three and four it's up to you where you want to place you can place the numbers here also or here also so it's up to you and then again change the color according to the color of the circle we can see here i'm just changing now for this purple and this i'm just going to make it this color and for this i'm going to use the teal color to add the detail text go to insert text box and just say add your text here if you want you can add the title also it's up to you again open sans let me just give this as a gray color reduce the size so this is the text one this will be the text two the text three here and text four so you can see here almost we have done it's time to add some animation to it before adding the animation let me just group this Control g hold the shift key and uh, just add whatever the text you want to group it so this one and hold and select this Control g go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select these four circles first the semicircles you can see here and i'm just going to add animation and i will just say grow and turn so it you can see it coming like this and then after this this should come you can give a wipe effect right on click or after previous and then this text for this i'm just going to give say a basic zoom and this should happen after previous so now i'm just going to use this animation painter select this and then i'm selecting this text with this and then this one i'll use this and just change the way you want you want from the top bottom how you want that you need to update it and then i'm just select this animation painter and then now if i play all the animation it looks something like this you can see here it's a simple yet powerful design slide for your presentation that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye